Hello guys, I'm Rachel from GK Sneaker. Today I would like to do a review on the Air Jordan 11 25th anniversary. Okay, in front of you are two pairs of shoes. Left one is real, right one is fake. Uh, from the picture, uh, first impression, which one you think is a real one? Uh, I think uh, for this pair, this shoe is very easy, you can tell the left is real, right is fake. Uh, it looks like they don't have very uh, real difference, but actually they have a lot. Uh, so I will explain to you. If you don't put them side by side, you may think the thick pair is real. Okay, so now let's uh, point them out one by one. First, uh, uh, let's talk about shoes. The first part will be about shoes. And the second part, I will uh, show you some boxes and some details of boxes. Okay, first, uh, let's check the shoe shape. For the left real pair, we can feel the shape is very elegant, decent, right? Very nice, elegant. The shape is so good. And the right pair, we can see it's a fake pair. Uh, it looks, they also all black material. It looks very similar. But from the shape, you can tell uh, this side looks still good but the most important part is about the heel shape so you can feel the heel shape is a bit fat look back here so you may also feel when i show you the pick you may also feel this one may be also good but better i put them side by side you can feel the difference So you can feel, can you feel the difference on the shape? Uh, the left one I feel it's look like a lady, but this one I think it's like a uh, fat middle age man, uh, fat man. I, I don't like, I like the lady. So uh, left is real, right is fake. And um, this is the first point uh, we can see from the shape. Second, uh, we know for this 25th anniversary, uh, they apply many silver-like material. So uh, let's check those silver-like effect. Now let's check the jump man. So you can feel this jump man very nice and elegant, and uh, uh, it's silver-like, very shiny matte, uh, shining, reflecting material molding here. And, but for the fake pair, so can you, what what can you what does what do you feel on this metal or this material? Uh, I think the effect appearance it looks like a little yellowish, like bronze effect. But this one is silver, so the left is real, left and real. So can you feel the difference, the surface effect? Uh, which one would you prefer? I prefer the left one. The right one it's more like browns I don't like. Third, also uh, we can see these this part. Also you can feel it's silver like material and stick to uh, stick to eyelet. Uh, very nice here. But if you don't compare you may feel this one also good. But actually this is also a uh, very big different material. Now let's take side by side comparison. So can you feel the difference? Maybe you can feel big, you cannot feel big difference from the video. But when you see it in person, they are totally different. The left one is silver like on the surface, silver like. But this one is more like plastic. Mm. You can see this surface is very dull. It's just a, like a rubber stick to here. No, no such shiny uh, finish. It's very dull. And this one is very shiny finish here. So they are totally different. And same like this Jumpman. Um, the real one is silver finish, shiny finish. But this one it's bronze, so they are different. Fourth, 
about the jumping on the thumb, you can feel the real one is better, much better molded, and much nice jump man. But this one, I feel it look like the head is connected to the arm, so it's like disabled man. I I don't like this one. But the bottom, uh, also. I can feel the real pair it's a little a bit more heavier because this carbon uh, they are heavy a bit heavy weight so it's when you take it you can feel its weight but this one it's a bit lighter uh, but also this one also some metal carbon but I don't know why the light the weight it's a bit lighter I uh, this one I don't know the reason uh, now Fifth, let's check the insole. Oh, I already take them out in advance. So the left one is real, right one is fake. So from from here, you may feel no difference for the insole, right? But actually, these two insoles they are totally different, and the cost they are different costs. So from back side, can you see difference? So it's not only about these letters and real one has these letters but the right one fake one they don't have but the difference is not on this the difference is on the material so this one what's the material for this insole and nike already say here so it's pu022 so it's pu material and 022 it's its number but this one it's made by eva very light for the eva shoes for some cheap nike shoes there also is using EVA. Uh, the advantage is they are very light. Uh, disadvantage is they are very easy to get crushed uh, by ages. But this one is by PU. PU one is much more heavier and you can feel it and you can feel it's and this one is EVA. They are different light, this one much more heavier. And uh, when you put your feet on shoes, this one feel much better. And um, for sure, the PU material much more expensive than EVA. For EVA, for one kilogram, you can make a lot of, a lot of uh, thousands of these insoles. Cause, and, but for this PU, uh, it's not that much. So the cost is like 10 times higher than EVA. So the real one, they are using this material and they have all this info on on this insole. Okay, this is about insole difference. So, now next I would like to show you the some stitching under the real one, real pair. So this one is the real pair. Oh, sorry. Uh, the light not came in. Too dark and not able to see the material under the insole okay so i just uh, forget about it now let's move to the box so uh, because the table is not that big and um, so let me show you so this the left one this paper is for the real one oh uh, no this one is for real this paper is for the real one this one is for the fake one so from appearance, what can you feel? So you can see the left uh, real one, the Jumpman logo and these letters, they are more shiny, right? Shiny and silver-like, but this one you can see just uh, printed by computer, it's gray color. So the paper is totally different. And the real one, you can feel hmm, it's more crispy, but this one is more, uh, it's also a bit crispy, but this real one is more crispy. Uh, for the thick one, they are not using soft paper. They also use crispy paper. But the real paper is more crispy. The biggest difference is on the printing. Because this printing, real paper printing is difficult. They need to print those uh, silver-like effects. So uh, by computer, you know it's very hard to print out those silver finish. 
So this is this is by special ink to make it silver like. And next, let's check the box. So this is the thick box label. You can see the box label is very flat, flat here, right? We cannot feel the thickness of these letters and the barcode. Now let's check the real one. For the real one, let's see the label here. Can you feel the thickness for those letters, barcode here? So you can see it's more, uh, the finish also different. This is a bit shining, uh, clear finish. And the barcode, when you put your finger here, you can feel the thickness. So this is new label that Nike applied to this new Jordan. Let's check thick pair again. So you can see um, the finish is different, right? And uh, no thickness, just a print by computer. Like when we print uh, letters on the paper. So here. So left is real, right is fake. Can you see difference? So finish is different. This is more clear and this one uh, this thick pair, no such finish, and this one it's thick has thickness, but this one it's very flat. So this is the difference. For the rest, I think no big difference, and just some manufacturer advantage for the real pair. Okay, now let's have an overall review for the real pair. I think they are really nice. Okay, that is all for today. If you like my video, please subscribe and give me a thumb up. Thank you.